Hey all, so I'm just going to show you how to make these little face scrubbies, a square version and then a round version. These are done in half double crochet, which is the US term. The UK term is half treble crochet. Okay, <coughs> I'm going to show you how to do this square one first and then in part two, so keep an eye out for the video, you'll see how to do the round one. Okay. So this is just 100% mercenized cotton. It's from yarn in colours, but it doesn't matter. Any um, mercenized cotton will do. Any cotton will do, to be honest. Um, this is four ply, so it's a bit thinner than DK. And I'm using a three millimeter hook. Okay. <coughs> now, you can see with this, I like to do, I call it the chainless start, I think it's a foundation chain, um, it gives a nice edge um, but it also means that you can do the exact stitch count you need without having to worry about doing the extra one and you know the size that you're making straight away because the second row is already formed it tells you how big it's going to be. With a chain it can shrink when you do it so you're not 100% sure. So we're going to go with the chainless start okay. So for this size, we're going to want to start with, helps if I remember, hold on, <laughs> 17 stitches, there we go, we're doing 17 stitches. So just make your slip knot, however you find easiest to make them. <coughs> Okay, once you've got your slip knot, we're just going to yarn over and pull through. So that creates your one there and one here. So you've got two loops to chain, basically. And that's as far as we're going to go on a chain. Um, so you're going to yarn over, because remember we're doing half double crochets here. And we're going to go through the back loop of that very first stitch. I'm going to a little fiddly. But once we're through the back loop, we're going to yarn over. And pull through. The reason for going through the back loop is it creates this lovely neat edge which actually matches the top edge. So that's why I like to use it. But. So we've gone through the back loop and we yarned over. We've now got three loops on the hook but we need to create the chain first so we're going to yarn over and pull through just one of those loops. That's created a chain. And now we're going to create the second row, which is the actual stitch, because we're creating the chain and the row straight away in one go. This all gets created together. Okay, so we're just going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all three of those hoops because this is the half double or half treble. So we go through them all. So yarn over, find that first chain that you just created. Go three, so you've got both legs on there. Yarn over and pull through. Remember, we have to create the chain first, so yarn over and pull through one, and then yarn over and pull through all three, creating the next stitch. I'm going to do this until we have 17 stitches. So yarn over, go through that new chain that you just created. Three. Yarn over through one to create the chain, through all three to create the stitch. Do one more and I'll show you how the chain and the stitches are forming. You need to do this process once while we create the first one and then I'll show you the rest of the st stitches, how we do the rest of the rows. Okay? So as you can see, we're forming a base chain that you'd normally start with, they all interlock, and we're forming the actual first row of stitches just in here. So this is the top row, we're working upside down while we create the chain and the stitch, okay? And then when we're finished, we'll actually work from that way up. So you can see we're interlocking into each one of them. So the next stitch is going to go, you see that leg 
just there. I'm going to go in under those two legs. Can you see that? And that's interlocking them in just like we've done for each of them. So you can see the. So if I can poke my little hook for a minute, I'm trying to make it a bit bigger for you to see. So you can just see the hole that's being created. You're going in here underneath the two legs. So you're going in between these two bits. That's where you're going, okay? So just pull that back up. So you get to yarn over. Go through. Make sure you get both legs. Yarn over and pull through. Remember, create the chain first and then the stitch. And just keep repeating this process until you have 17. It's a little fiddlier for me because I'm doing it on camera. You guys won't find this quite so fiddly, hopefully, because you can have it closer for you to see. Being on camera does affect my tension, so this is a little looser, which makes it easier for you lot to see the stitches. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stitches. Oop, don't forget to do the yarn over first. Oop, I went through too many there. Just rip it back one if you go through too many. I'm actually being hollowed up by a family member, so I'm going to pause here and come back once we've got them all, okay? Okay, so we've got our 17 stitches done, so we're just going to chain one, sorry, on camera, chain one, and then we're going to turn it over because we're going to work back that way along what is our actual top of our stitches now, okay? And this is where you do the basic normal um, half double crochet or half treble crochet UK turns. So yarn over, make sure you're going into this first stitch here. Your hook is right above it, but you don't want to miss it, okay? So yarn over and go through, yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, that's your first one then. Yarn over, find your next stitch there. Go through, yarn over, pull back through, see the three again, yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're gonna, sorry, we're going to repeat this process along the whole row for all 17 stitches. So, let's yarn over, go through the stitch, which remember has both legs there, yarn over, come back through the stitch, yarn over and go through all three loops. I'm just going to do this the whole way along. So it's really simple. All you have to do is remember to yarn over at the beginning go through the loop, yarn over again, come back through the loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. I'm just going to repeat this the whole way along, backwards and forwards. 
across this square until it actually is a square. Across this piece until it is a square. Perhaps if your yarn doesn't roll under your hands. <laughs> Make sure you get this last stitch. Sometimes it hides down there. Can you see that? And make sure you're getting right into that last stitch. And there's your first row done. Which is, as you know now, is your third row. Because you have your chain row, your starting row, and then your next row. Which equals two or three rows, depending on how you like to count. <laughs> but that, I'm just going to repeat that over and over again. So, as we're at the end of the row... We do what we did last time, chain one, so yarn over and pull through, turn the work, so we're now going that way, remember we're still working along the top, yarn over, go through into that first stitch, don't forget that stitch, and pull through, and do this all the way. So remember I said at the beginning we're doing 10 rows, at least I think I said at the beginning. If I didn't, I'm sorry, we're doing 10 rows. <laughs> I've had a few outtakes, people interrupting and all that. <laughs> so it's 17 stitches and 10 rows for the whole thing, okay? So I'm just going to keep going. Get the ball of yarn out of my way. <laughs> I'm just going to speed along with this and I'll meet you back when we've done 10 rows, okay? Because you don't need to watch me doing this over and over again, do you? But what we're doing is doing these rows backwards and forwards, okay? That's all we're doing, so I'll see you back in a second. Okay, so we're just doing the last row here, so make sure you get all 17 done the last row. <coughs> Helps if you don't drop the stitches. And my hands are getting tired, so I keep dropping them. I actually filmed several videos today, so my hands are getting a little tired. <laughs> Just doing the last few. Sixteen, and don't forget that 
last one there for 17 and then do what would be a chain but we're just snipping the yarn so you just want to snip that yarn and then pull it all the way through and there is your finished square now you're weaving your ends just grab a needle and go through these stitches backwards and forwards and up and down a little just to weave it in go through the actual thread so you wanna let me just grab a needle try to go through not just under the stitches but go through the actual yarn like that because that will create a tighter hold on the stitches and stop them on the ends and stop them coming out okay so you can see needs to be done that one's my loose attention because of the camera but they're not a huge difference in size and they work really well so check the next video for the round version and remember this is the half double crochet or the half treble crochet for UK terms okay thank you bye